Greetings classmates! I am making this little um, screen video for you guys on how to do charts in SPSS version 26. So what you want to do is hit uh, Analyze and then Descriptive and then Frequencies and then you see I was playing with this earlier before I figured out how to record my voice as well. So um, let's do height in inches um, and so you would uh, you would select let me show you how you do that so you would come down here and you would select height in inches and you would uh, click the arrow to move it over you see and then you click on charts and um, we could do a histogram but I think for for this, we'll give that a try. Actually, a histogram is really good for uh, for this measurement. Um, so then you would uh, you would select what you want to show, uh, what you want to display. So if you want to do frequencies or percentages, see so you could do like a pie graph, pie chart, for example, and do frequencies or percentages. I don't recommend that for this particular variable. So we're going to do a histogram, and we're going to click continue, and we're going to click OK. And here we have a beautiful histogram. And you also have all your data here. And so then what you're going to do with this histogram, um, and you see I checked the display the curve, and what you're going to do with this is then you're going to cut and paste this into a Word document so that you can edit it for your um, APA formatting. And then we can do another variable. So let's get rid of that and let's do um, let's do provider recommend whatever this one is here and you're going to charts and let's do a bar graph for that and we'll do frequencies and we'll click continue click OK and here's my bar graph. And then let's do uh, another one. We'll do frequencies again. And we'll do, um, let's do preventive care access. I think that's what that is. I don't know. And click charts. And let's do a pie chart frequencies and you click OK and there's your pie chart. Now I would not use a pie chart for this particular variable uh, if I had known that this was the ID because you see how cluttered that looks so uh, let me redo a pie chart with a different variable let's do um, participant education instead. Do pie chart. Frequencies is fine for that. And we have the education one. I hope this is helpful to you guys. Um, please let me know if it's not. Again, you're going to need to cut and paste these over into a Word document and then you're going to need to do editing on your charts for APA formatting. Um, I would recommend also possibly doing that in PowerPoint um, if that's easier for you. And you see all of these are in the same um, output file because if you don't close your output file in between your charts, that's what you'll get. All of it in one chart. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful and uh, Thanks.